British Columbia is a province of rich diversity in its land, its climate, and its people. We celebrate this diversity wherever we find it. Just over a hundred years ago, for example, the first of a group of religious refugees came to Canada and brought with them a different way of life. They called themselves Dukabors. The Dukabors were a puritanical Christian sect that developed in Russia in the mid-1600s. They lived simply and communally. The word Dukabor means spirit wrestler. Persecuted by the church and state in Tsarist Russia for their pacifist beliefs, some 4,000 Dukabors immigrated to Saskatchewan in 1899 under the leadership and spiritual guidance of Peter Verigan. In 1908, Verigan led about two-thirds of Saskatchewan's Dukabors to the Slocan and Kettle Valleys in British Columbia to settle near communities such as Grand Forks and Castlegar. There they lived in groups of 30 to 50 in large communal farmhouses that were the center of their communities. They supported their communities with farms, brickyards, sawmills, and jam and furniture factories. By the 1920s, some of the more fundamentalist Dukabors thought their colleagues were becoming too prosperous and materialistic. A splinter group called the Sons of Freedom launched violent demonstrations, burning schools, factories, and other buildings. In 1924, Peter Verigan was assassinated in an explosion aboard a train just as it pulled out of the station at Ferron, B.C. In the 1950s and 60s, more conflict with the Sons of Freedom led to many Dukabors serving time at the mountain prison near Agassiz. Today, on the outskirts of Castlegar, you can visit the Dukabor village, a living history museum that shows us the communal way of life once practiced there. Dukabors still uphold their religious beliefs and still hold prayer meetings with beautiful a cappella singing. Peace at last has returned to these people.